So I made an episode on my podcast, Drums in Español, don't forget to check it out, um, where I talk about how to use GarageBand as a rhythm environment for practicing. We all know that practicing with metronome is a good thing, but also it get kind of boring after some point, right? So um, I found very powerful the app GarageBand, especially on the phone or the iPad. I'm going to demonstrate you on my iPhone today. How you can set up rhythm environments, how you use the ones that are in stock, but also how to create your own that suit your need to make your practice more interesting. All right, so with that, um, this is an iPhone 10R. The, the app GarageBand is free for every iPhone and iPad. So go to the App Store, download the app, and let's see how it goes. So I opened the app, right? Recently I updated to the newer version. Um, so there's some more sounds in the sound library that are available. So we're gonna hit continue. Um, I'm just going to open a new project on the plus sign, right, in GarageBand. A lot of you might be used to this, to this screen where you have the different instruments, right, you have the violins and all that, and you can create full-on tracks with this. We have two options. We have tracks and we have live loops. In our case, we're going to go to live loops, and then you have a bunch of um, styles of music from EDM, hip-hop, dubstep, R&B, house, so goes so on. Um, there's some Chinese, Chinese modern, Beast Smasher, but also you go to the sound library, which we saw at the beginning, once I opened the app, you have all these ones that you can download and add on to your library. And this will include loops that you can use when you are creating your own track. So for example, if I choose, I don't know, I have no idea. Um, Skyline Heat. Let's give it a try. Get. No Wi Fi, of course. Resume. Cool. So I download the, the package, then it had to wait long. Um, Skyline Heat. What do I have here? Um, as you see to your left, you have different instruments, bass drum, snare, hi-hat, um, some electronic drum sets, you keep scrolling, keyboards, um, synth, guitars, some vocals, so go, so on. Um, you can do one at a time, for example. You can start layering them up. Stop them. You can also trigger the whole the whole line by yourself. Right, so it's playing every single one from that row, from that line. You can also go the manual way and trigger them one by one to your fit, uh, which is what I tend to do more often than so. Um, and I'm just going to choose something random here so you have an idea how it looks like. So I don't know if you noticed, but the one thing that you cannot do is to have two sounds from the same row. You can have many going down, but not from the same row. And you turn off and turn off sounds as you please. And that's it, that, that's pretty much a startup. Right, and you create an environment where you can start playing. Now, 
like I show you, there are different style of music that you can choose from. There's a bunch of loops. It could be a little bit overwhelming at, one, at some point, which is the reason why um, I have a setup where I know what I want and I use that. And of course, you can always um, change the tempo and I'll show you that in a second. But I'm gonna show you how to make your own. Uh, you click on new. And then you have this loop icon and options are endless, right? So um, the, the easiest way, or at least for me, what makes more sense, and I, I choose, tend to choose by, let's do it again, by instruments. So I'm looking for, a lot of time I look for something percussive that will anchor me at one point. So I'm just gonna, gonna drag this item. I said I'm gonna drag this item. Right, so I have my tambourine, um, and that will be my anchor as I start playing. Then I go back to instruments again. Um, I don't know. I look for a mallet. So I'm gonna take this one for my first column and I'm gonna step ahead and choose this one for my second column, the number two. Um, I'm gonna get some synth. Cool. So now, because I chose this, I don't have to tap one or the other. I know what it's gonna sound like and it's a sound that I created for me. So. And that will inspire me to play. Because I know that I have a lick that I have to practice at what tempo? 85? No, I'm gonna bump it up to 110. Um, same thing. You can also, so you don't have to look for, for, for the same sounds, you can copy and paste them. So you click on this icon here, um, long press, long press, copy, then I'm gonna paste it. Boom. So if I wanna have like an open solo section that I know is on time, And then I can go back to the... And for that matter, I'm gonna copy this synth portion, copy, paste. Anyhow, um, that is a quick tutorial. I hope this makes sense for some, for a lot of you, how to create your own rhythmic environment to practice. Um, I hope this is inspiring you to practice more and to lock into the music um, more than to a metronome. If you like more of this content, don't forget to leave comments down below, like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to check out my podcast, Dramas en Español, always linked down in the description. That's it for this one. Peace.